there are times in the life of a society when you can see God has decreed change. It is not man, it's God that has decreed change. For a number of years we have been grumbling. Nigeria needs change. And then but the same people retain the system and it doesn't change. And on and on and on. I'm excited to be here because you said nothing. Let me tell you something very funny you don't, probably didn't notice. When Buhari first came into power in 19, in 2015, it was a North Eastern North region government. It was our government. So when you look at what is happening to the North East today, you wonder what happened. I'll tell you why. The Senate president was from the North East, Yobe. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation was from Notice, Adama. The National Security Advisor to the President was from Notice, Borno. The Chief of Army Staff was from Notice, Borno. The Chief of Staff to the President was from Notice, Borno. The Chief of Air Staff was from Notice, Bounchi apart from other big positions in the government, minister of the FCT, big ministries like that, and so on and so forth. So what happened? What happened that uh, we are where well, we are looking like uh, all of us are just uh, recovering from HIV? <laughs> Miserable, lean, it's all about your role in the government. If you eventually find yourself there, what do you do to contribute good governance that you can today be proud of? Last time I was in Adamawa, I went to my village. I think about one year ago, I said I'm not going to my village anymore. Because the roads are terrible. I remember in our time, we insisted, insisted, Numan Cham, Numan Jalingo, Yola, Trufufore, uh, there's another village there, Fufore, uh, Yola, Mubi, Mararaba Mubi, to uh, Bama, all these were awarded. But as we speak, after I left, the only money the contractors have got so far are the mobilization. So the jobs are abandoned. So I'd like to tell us that it's not just enough for us as notice to contribute to a government coming into power. We must be sure we can hold them accountable to what they say they will do for us. Politics, one of my friends, to be present, I'll call his name. He told me, he said, Ogabidi, you can design the best road from Abuja to Lagos. But for as long as you don't have the political power to build that road, it remains a road on paper. Yes. We might have the best candidates. They talk good English. But if we do not win this election, it's nonsense. And I told some other people yesterday, if we don't lose this, if we lose this election, I think we will all migrate to Cameroon. <laughs> because shame, disgrace, embarrassment would have cemented our position as second class citizens by our failure to lose this, our failure to win this election. So it is not about whether we have the option to win this election or not. Peter Obi must win this election. Yes. So what do we do to win this election? You like to humor yourself by saying that there's no, a don't need structure to win an election. That is not true. I come from 